Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 5 of my Age of Empires 4 Norman campaign on hard difficulty. In the last episode, we started Empress Matilda's claim to the throne with the first battle of Lincoln. Today, we're continuing with Matilda, moving forward 12 years to the siege of Wallingford. Matilda and Stephen's battle for the crown would all come down to Wallingford. If Matilda's army could hold the castle, she could restore her claim to the throne. Let's begin. Victory over King Stephen at Lincoln gave Matilda the upper hand in her fight for the English crown. But in the years that followed, fragile loyalties shifted, and under threat of capture, Matilda was forced to retreat. As her holdings in England came under attack from the king's army, it fell to her son Henry to keep Matilda's claim to the throne alive. Inside the strong stone walls of the castle at Wallingford, Matilda's men held firm against a brutal siege by forces loyal to King Stephen. King Stephen's army... All right, I just wanted to mention here at the beginning that I've actually tried this mission twice now and failed miserably both times. This mission is quantum leaps ahead of any other mission in terms of difficulty so far in the campaign. I mean, it is brutal. You just start immediately under siege, constant waves coming at you, very little time to look around and assess the situation, see how you, where your economy is at, see what technologies you've gotten, all that kind of thing. So I feel like now having tried it a few times and really not really made that much progress, I'm just hoping that this one is now going to be the one where I've got a bit of a plan together, I've assessed the buildings, but I've never actually made it to the first 10 minutes, which is apparently when our reinforcements get there, so I don't know what's going to happen beyond that. But I just wanted to mention that here at the beginning, that while the narrator is talking, I already know where some buildings are, I know where some resources are, I've got already a loose plan of what I want to do. Very quickly, because I won't be able to move the camera and tell you, is... I want to send the cavalry out down to the bottom. We're in the very corner of the map here, just hemmed against the wall in a very small kind of area with a very few amount of villagers and population. We've already got two buildings that make villagers, so that's fine. I'm going to send the cavalry out down the south in order to attack a boar that's out there. That'll kind of secure some food for us. And then just try to get multiple barracks up and running and start spamming out some infantry. I kind of spammed longbowmen, but they are going to get on the walls very easily with some siege towers and things, and I wasn't really able to do anything against that. And then again, they just broke down walls with multiple rams and got through. So we'll see how it goes. Just wanted to kind of give you the heads up here at the beginning. Sorry for just talking over a pause screen, but let's begin. However, reinforcements were on the way from Matilda's son, Henry. Her forces needed to hold the walls until they arrived. Right, so I'm just going to send these guys out really quickly. Send these guys out as well. They're not even really fighting back, actually, so that's good. I thought they would, but they're still just trying to burn this down. So it's good that we just fight them, I suppose. That's really weird, isn't it, that they're not actually fighting back? But we should take care of them, no problem, then. Right, so... We have our council hall, which makes longbowmen really fast. We have our town center and our king's palace, which can make troops pretty quickly too. Or make villagers, sorry. I'm just going to put this onto gold and this onto gold as well. And then we can just take them off gold when they're done. Uh, I've sent the cavalry out here. There's the boar. want to kill that boar. Set up a mill out here and then get cracking on um, getting that food, I guess. Let's run back inside now. Probably going to want to get someone to repair that gate. And I think the next attack is going to come from this side. So let's run up that way. Let's keep people kind of in the middle there. All right, so here's the situation. Age 2 landmark, the council hall. Makes longbowmen much faster than other places, but you can still make them in other places. In fact, we can upgrade a veteran. Let's just do that right away. And then I'm going to save up all the food I can to just constantly make villagers now. So we want to put more and more people on food because it's a bit low. So let's just dump all this gold and then just tell them to get cracking on that. And they should be good to go. There we go. Let's go. All right, great. Let's get these up on the walls as well. Let's get the men-at-arms over at this gate. All right, that's pretty much just... That's basically the plan. <laughs> Other than just now get villagers together, right? So these two buildings together. Start pumping out some villagers. Start building up some barracks. We need to get our food income, like, rising radically to be able to do this properly. Save up some gold and we can get the uh, fertilization tech. King Stephen's siege forces launched a renewed attack on the castle. All right, here's the next attack coming in. Reinforcements arrive in eight minutes. I think I've made it down to about three. <laughs> so we'll see what happens in the next five minutes, basically. I've learned some interesting things, though. 
For instance, if you keep men-at-arms behind a gate, they actually get shot uh, through the gate. So you want to put them to the side, tell them to wait, and then once some of these guys are down, then we can run through. Alright, more men-at-arms, please. Let's get that cavalry up and out. Still not enough gold to do that thing yet. We've got six people on gold. Alright, four more villagers queued up. We can run out now. Now that the archers are dead, we can run out and try to just attack this. And then as soon as we take it out, we'll just run back in. Uh, so just get inside, stay alive, stay safe. And let's get some spearmen as well coming out of the castle. Alright. I don't see that boar. Oh yeah, they have it now. Good. Nice. Alright. Got a villager not doing anything. Let's start repairing some of these things. I've also noticed that repairing gates, you think would take stone. It actually takes wood. Very bizarrely. So there is that. Alright, so we defended that alright. Although they're building another ram right away. So maybe let's get up and start rebuilding this one. Alright, let's just say, keep some villagers in here now so we can get building. In fact, let's just grab these guys. I know they're on food, which is important, but I feel like repairing this is going to be quite important. So let's get there. Let's lock that gate as well. Actually, let's open the gate and send these guys out. And let's get the network of castles. Increases the attack speed bonus from 25% to 50%. Get back in. Let's lock that gate. There we go. Let's just stay put. Ah, they just go back in immediately. Start making another one. All right. To crack the mighty stone walls of Wallingford, King Stephen's forces launched another attack. All right, that's fully repaired. Let's repair this one. They're coming in over on that side now. So let's tell the boys to get up on the walls. And let's get the archers on the walls as well. But over in a bit of a safer direction if they can uh just about get there good that way they should be able to fire onto this wall while still getting the bonus of being up there i think men at arms tech actually let's just get that to make them stronger first all right they're done it's great let's get back on the fields Right, now we've got a bunch of this, but we're just so low on food, because obviously I took everyone off food to do that. Very smart move. Still don't have the gold we need to make that. <laughs> oh, we managed to take the guys off the walls, though. Let's get down, then. It's just archers now, so we can stay down, let our archers do work. Let's unlock that. Let's get over there. Good thing we defended it. get these guys just to go on gold and then when gold is done we can move we can also now improve this to get food a bit better stay inside stay safe All right, I'm doing way better now actually these things destroyed me before I think the next one is gonna come from this side and that's it then that's as far as I've gone but I think I'm holding my own although I'm very, a bit, very low on troops I would say um, melee troops that is you already Okay, cool. I feel like we're going to need more farms big time. Food is very low. You still making? Yep, they're producing. This isn't. So two, two, three, three. Good. Still have the cavalry we can send out as well if we need to. Oh shit. This is coming in at a different place than last time. This wall is already quite weak. Let's send some cavalry out, see if we can hit into these. King Stephen's forces breached the oh my god, they're in just like that. Matilda's men needed to repel the enemy before the castle fell and their cause was lost. I'm trying to just break these because they're just going to break down my thing if I'm not quick enough. It's kind of a waste of cavalry, but I don't know what else to do with them. Castle needs to live. Oh, I never got the spring old emplacement. Spam out some archers, I should have been doing that. Matilda's forces repelled the attack, 
and held the castle. I don't think so. The castle's about to go. Please, no. I can build another one. We can rebuild. <laughs> go, go, go. Can I not build one? A thousand? Oh, no. Without the network of castles, I don't know what we're going to do. All right, just get back to work. A thousand stone. Well, we could buy some, couldn't we? How much is it? All right, try it again then. It's just damage, it's fine. We'll get it back up and running, no problem. How's that gold and stone? Stone has 2,000 in it, actually. We've only got one person on it. Gold has been ransacked, which is good. Not so bad, actually. I mean, it's terrible that we lost the castle, but not, not that bad in terms of what we've lost elsewhere. Do need to rebuild that wall, though, if we can, also. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, well, at least we got this back up and running. Get in there. Why not? Yeah, because this is actually firing as well, which is good. Let's see if we can destroy some of this equipment. I guess it doesn't really matter, right? No one else is using it, so let's just bring these guys back in. How many? Uh, hey, a minute, a minute to go. Doing it, sort of. <laughs> uh, they'll burn it from the top. But Henry's troops were getting closer to Wallingford. Soon, the combined numbers of the two armies there we go. could tip the scales in their favor. I can't believe I made it this far. It doesn't feel like I deserve it after losing that castle, especially. You know what? We also need a monastery. Let's make one. Alright, that'll heal those guys. At least the uh, archers can heal themselves. Menadarmaz. Uh, 30 seconds to go and we get these reinforcements. These alleged reinforcements. Just very low on food all the time. Just gonna buy a bunch so we can keep recruiting at least. <laughs> it didn't queue up that much to be honest. Alright, farms please. Oh, my. oh, right. We just got a reinforcements. How much? Yes, cavalry. Let's go. Henry's reinforcements approached Wallingford. United under Matilda's banner, the two armies were ready to engage Stephen's forces. Oh, what? No, 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 no. I'm gonna hold him there for a second. Just want to make sure we're still doing stuff here. We're pop capped out of our minds. We can make five. All right, go. Did I make a priest? Oh, I can't now, actually. Well, let's just queue one up to get it ready. I was trying to get them to run into my archers, but I don't know. I just can't really seem to do it, and I'm against the clock. We're gonna do more attacks, I think. Start engaging those spearmen, guys. Oh my god, my reinforcements are gonna be all dead. There's another attack coming for the north. It's actually kind of interesting, without a tower we can't get up on those walls properly. I'm like micro-edited by mine. I can't. I'm so bad. 
<laughs> I'm watching myself be slow, you know. I can't help it, but I just don't. I don't have the mind share to be able to do it any faster than this. It's quite funny. Like I, I watch it looking back. Just me looking at my own screen. I'm like, man, I'm slow. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it, though. Hey, stay there. Did I still not get the? Oh, I did get the spring all in place, and of course we lost it. These guys are done now. There's nothing else I can do other than just put a bunch of them on farms, some of them on stones, sell it maybe. It looks like we're doing alright though, we're actually hang holding it. Because these guys can just run down now, so why can't you? Yeah. There you go. Oh crap, what happened out here though? Oh my god, I didn't even see! Oh, my archers are against cavalry and stuff. Oh well, we have to destroy outposts. There's one here, so let's, I guess, take them out. We make artillery, actually. 250 wood. Need more wood. Oh, there's a bunch of people not doing anything. Arguably have too many villagers now. I haven't really seen much cavalry, so we haven't had the need for spearmen that much. Let's go see if we can take out this outpost now. What do we have left? Out of all of that that we had, we have 15 knights and one man at arms. Oh crap, they're coming in this way. Hold. Henry and Matilda's forces struck out at the besieging army, weakening the enemy's hold on Wallingford's perimeter. Let's get this cavalry around to hit those guys, although it's actually been taken out itself. Yep. My guys are under heavy damage there, though. Is that priest still out there? I don't see him anymore. Did he get in the castle? Oh, maybe he died. Okay, good. We can move on to the next one now, although I don't imagine... I think we should bring these in and heal them. That's what I'm going to do. I think it's safer that way, because they're all really damaged. Let's bring them there. Let's tell the priest to go there. Heal them. Leave one man-at-arms out there to keep a watch. <laughs> yeah, and then um, let's get some more, I guess. At least gold. I mean, we're about to run out of gold, and then we're going to be relying on just food and stuff. Uh, never got any of the upgrades or text, did I? Nope. Why bother, eh? That would be in the arsenal to make our arrows higher penetration, which would be pretty good, eh? Don't know where the next attack is going to come from. Priest is on his way to heal these guys. Alright. I think I can gather my... Th it looks like the attacks have kind of stopped. Although I imagine they're just going to get bigger and bigger. I don't know, though. Why can't we make that now? It's gold. Gold's going to be an issue. We can sell stone. We could build up that stone wall again. Just fix it. Hmm. All has gone quiet. Well, I've made it further than I've ever made it. <laughs> so I feel pretty good. Even though I'm absolutely awful at the game. But hey, I'm playing on hard. I feel good, actually. It's fine. It's fine. I'm glad though. It's nice to actually have a mission where it's been challenging. The other ones haven't been too haven't been too challenging yet. So everyone's out there doing their thing. We've got loads of people on wood. I don't know what to do with these 16 people. I mean, is there any? I hesitate to delete them. That doesn't seem like the right thing to do. Um, but we'll just put them on gathering more and more stuff faster and faster so we can sell it. This is making a bunch. Yeah, let's spam out some longbowmen, because we're kind of... Oh no, actually we're fine on longbowmen. It's really just like priests and things I want to heal. Doing a good job though. They're healing nicely. No more gold, unless I sell. Just trying to think, artillery maybe? Manganels seem like they'd be a good idea. Okay, let's sell some stone.
one mangonel queued up. Looks like the attacks have stopped. Feels good. Good big squad of men at arms. 40 men at arms now. Feels really good. This guy can come back in. Join his buddies. Now it's just the heal the cavalry. Knights are pretty expensive, so I think it's the right thing to do to heal them up. Uh, we need another 500 gold for one of those mangonels. It is expensive. These are all healed because they can heal themselves. The walls are repaired. Oh no, there is another attack. Shit. Hestes cometh aris. Something, something, something. Oh, spring alls. That's a bit weird. They don't really have a use for them. Huh. They seem a bit confused. Feeling good on the walls, though. Feeling real good. Isn't there a tech you can get that makes you do, like, really good damage against... Uh, like, makes your arrows on fire and stuff? Towers and keeps gain boiling oil. Increase the ranged armor of all non-siege units. That's armor, and so I didn't go with that one. Well, we've basically repelled it. They just move a little to the sides, just so we don't fall down on the walls too badly. Yeah, keep firing. That's brilliant. Cool. And our cavalry's top-notch now. Good to go. All right, great. Gonna take the men at arms out with the cavalry. Just hold with the longbowmen, and then bring in some. Uh, bring in some spearmen, and some men at arms, just to hold a little bit as well. So all of these that are queued up now are gonna just help out there, and that should be okay. We've got a couple of priests. Keep them back. And these guys can go try burn. The mangonels don't really do much siege damage to things like towers and stuff, so I don't think we need to bring that with us. Hestes cometh, I'll sweep. Hestes cometh, I'll I always like saying what they say. Oh, we could build a siege uh, battering ram. That's a good idea. That'll help us take down these outposts very fast. Saving. Oh, something must be happening. Or maybe just a lot of time passed. <laughs> Another attack. Oh, mangonels now, they're getting stronger. Can't get that one guy out. Oh well, for bye. Alright, let's go. Oh my god, they're in. Damn, a lot of my archers have died. Oh shit, I didn't see that. They went all the way up there. Oh, I didn't have them guard mode, so they tried to run up and around. And I can see where they left um, chests of gold and stuff around because we definitely need it. Alright, let's repair the uh, keep. That's fine. We're still recruiting all the time. We've got priests. Good. Alright. The enemy line wavered. As Matilda's forces cut down the besieging army. I feel like we need priests to come with these guys now or something. I'm just a bit worried. I just don't want to take much more damage because we're so low on gold. Let's get these priests to run this way and come out and try to meet them here. We'll just keep repairing and getting more stuff together. These are still recruiting, are they? Yep, still recruiting. Uh, we did lose a lot of longbowmen, it seems, so it's no problem getting those out. They make how fast? Every seven seconds we get one, so that's pretty good. Oh my god. Stop, 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 stop. 
They, they gotta stay here and stay in range of this and stay, uh... Bring that cavalry around, they can help out. Like, I think my economy is good enough to keep pumping out, like, stuff and... Holding? I think we're okay on that front. Just don't have any gold for new knights. What's wrong with these heal? Yeah, he's not doing anything. Heal. That's weird. This is the archers. We'll just pop them down for a bit. Get these down as well. Tell them to hold. Tell the archers to go there. Hold. And then turn on some uh, healing. Alright. It's very little stone that we need there, so that's good. They healed? What's going on? Why aren't they auto healing? Automatic healing on. So heal then. <laughs> Oh, that is weird, isn't it? Am I doing something wrong? Like, they're not healing properly. They are, but it's... I have to micro them? What if I just move there? There you go. Do they not heal if these are on, told to stop? No, they do. I don't know, maybe it's a weird bug, or I'm doing something silly. And we're attacked from the left. Looks like we're okay there. So there's only two places left to go. This has been fun. Third time's the charm, I guess. Seems like we're doing it. <laughs> 30 villagers not doing anything. I guess the uh, boars and the trees are gone. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I guess more trees. You can come out here and start getting trees, eh? Why not? Nah, uh, you just come up here, you'll just do your normal thing. I might send the cavalry in though. Look at that, that is a machine gun of a sea of a castle now. Send that cavalry in over there. Let's go with these guys. They can start moving forward now. Bring the, the rams with us. Look at it. It's like a little machine gun. <laughs> I, I mean, I have 15 spearmen in there not doing anything, I guess. But worth it, I think, for the, the amount of arrows they fire. I think we push now. Let's go. <laughs> bit dangerous in case we get attacked from one of the other sides, but I think we've got, like I said, the economy now. So let's just sell a bunch of food, make a bunch of gold. Spam a bunch of men at arms, and uh, you guys can actually just just make even more of these. Increase our armor for range. Alright, cool. Not the most efficient way to do things by any stretch, but hey, making progress all the same. I feel like I need more cavalry as well. Alright, we've got loads of money now actually. Way more than I thought. I should really use that market more, eh?
All right, good. Pretty low on infantry, but we're making a lot now, so I think it'll be okay. Pink. <laughs> we're making like batches of four or five every few seconds, so. Oh no, that's not enough. I'm going to fall back. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sorry I suck. I feel like I'm trying to do everything as quick as I can. But I guess we need even more barracks? Just to spam it out? Because look at our resource flow. It's just super huge. And I need to be better at micro, I know. We can start making some cav, though. Cav of our own. Okay. <laughs> How many of them got out? Ah, oh, a good amount. Alright, there we go. So everything is producing something now, like crazy. This is everything we have. Let's keep that back, keep that there. Oh dear, oh dear. Anything not producing, I'm just watching little bars and all these buildings now ticking up. These two aren't. Alright, I want to watch this number 124 out of 200. I want to see that climb all the way. Sell all that wood, please. How much are we getting now? Just 50. Is that the minimum? Nope, 30. Jesus. <laughs> Selling 100 wood for 30 gold. That's why I love Roos. They have that trading building that actually never um never gets any cheaper. The prices stay the same. But you can only trade every now and then. It's like every 60 seconds you build up a trade. Saving again. Just cancel some of those knights. Make some mangonels and maybe two spring alts. Let's see if we can go for those little spring alts there. There we go. Alright, just trying to bring everyone together now and make another push. We've got 150 troops, so seems like a lot. Just heal these little groups now. Another mangonel. Did I lose my other one? Oh my god, I didn't even notice. Yeah, I must have. Shit. Really? I lost my other one. I guess their spring holds must have hit them, because I didn't see how that happened. Alright. Oh my god, they're putting up a great defense. <laughs> I don't know why the priests are getting in there and like attacking. It's really weird. Alright, 
Oh, dude, this is crazy. Damn it, what am I doing so wrong? I don't get it. I guess I'm just not using my stuff efficiently. It must be that. I don't know what else it could be. There's not going to be any wood left on the map soon. Yeah, feel free to let me know what you think I could be doing better in, in the comments and stuff, because I'm, I'm at a loss. <laughs> I've been winning uh, multiplayer games pretty handily, actually, at the moment, um, I guess at my skill level. I think I'm really low on cav. That seems to be a problem. It's like the artillery and the missiles I can't do much against. I can't believe that push didn't work before. Alright, get back, heal, try again. We're producing cavalry, albeit very slowly. No cavalry here now. So we've 33 spearmen, 12 men at arms, a spring alt, 14 longbowmen. Alright, well, at least we're getting a decent amount of calf back out. I don't think there's anything I can do in terms of... I can make increase the melee damage of all non-siege units. Yeah, I should do that, I guess. The speed of that tower, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Just gonna let this cavalry build up as well, because they're gonna be quite important, I think. Alright, they're dead. Okay, so can we heal now, please? Again, let's just say, can you, you can't shift click this now. It doesn't seem to do anything if you shift click. No. It's interesting though how we're, it actually is keeping us going quite a bit. All right, I've got two priests in there healing everyone. Third priest on the way. Yep. Cavalry's building up nicely. Just gonna spam some more cav. Some more cav. We're at 140 now. It's mostly what do we got? Mostly spearmen, a little bit of veteran longbowmen, some men at arms. Maybe the longbowmen can finish off the army then. And then we'll move forward with the equipment we've got. Try to micro it, I guess, efficiently. <laughs> Better than I have been. Get some boys in here we can get out as well. It's like they're building up as fast as I am and the engagements are just not good at combat. I feel like we're just losing the same amount, so it's ultimately ending in like stalemates. Wish I was getting even more reinforcements. Oh my god. Right, stay there. Spears down, because it's all cav, isn't it? A lot of it is. Longbowman back on the wall, can you get back up there? Go. 
I just lost so much from that. I just don't understand really why. Like, I had Spearmen at the front with their spears down. It was mostly cavalry that came in. They still, like, decimated me. So it feels like, anyway. Alright, starting to move things out now. Pretty happy with the amount of cavalry we have though now, so that's the cavalry. We've got another attack coming, of course. Nice Manganel hits, pretty good. Let's go, it's all infantry, or it's all um, archers there. Dude, they're not killing them. I don't get it. They're barely, like, engaging with, like, the fucking archers. They just have to run around like crazy. I'm getting so frustrated with this combat in this game. Jesus Christ. I've almost got the second outpost down. Jesus. Oh my god. There's even more over there. Oh, don't save it. Don't bother. <laughs> Try to get all my infantry now. So, everyone, not you, not you, not you. Go. I just got a spearman spam now because I don't know what else to do. It's the easiest thing to do, I think. Do I have to attack these things? It seems like they're they're targeted on the uh, the radar here, so I feel like I might as well just take them out. Do you have any priests or are they all dead? They're all dead because they like to jump into the combat. Don't know why. Such a weird game. <laughs> oh, still making troops. They're on their way. I keep holding shift and then realizing it's not actually doing anything. So we just have this last one over here, by the way, just in case <laughs> you're wondering what the hell are we doing. Alright, good. Let's keep going. We're forming a nice big thick boy army together. More spears on the way, of course. Cavalry is starting to come out now as well. 
Yeah, count the result together. Oh lord. Alright, let's just send uh, something, one of these up that way. It doesn't really matter. See if we can move some of this cavalry around the sides. It looks like they're super weak. Oh my god, guys, I think we've done. No! Fall back! I just want to select the fucking mangonels! Any more troops? Oh my god, I can't believe we've done it. Matilda's forces overwhelmed the enemy and cleared the <laughs> Yeah, overwhelmed them, sure. We're not like on the brink of destruction. Defeat the final attack wave? Oh my god. Please tell me this is it. Because if not, um, we should uh, get repairing the wall and stuff. Maybe put some towers on it. These troops, as far as I'm concerned, are dead. They're all dead because there's another wave coming in. Alright, I've drained all of our food. Oh, I wasn't fucking done in time. No. Dude, you need to fire that mangonel like right now. <laughs> oh, not to come all this way and lose now, please. That mangonel is doing amazing. Fire again. Go. Yes. <laughs> I think that Manganel single handedly has beaten this wave. We did it. It's not over though. There's still some stuff left. Is it just those guys out there? If that's it, then obviously no problem. Which it seems to be. So let's get going. Good job, Manganel. Save the day. Get it repaired. Easy. Easy game. <laughs> totally easy. They should make this game like way harder. <clears throat> I think that's it guys, I think it's just the battery rounds now. Oh my god. Walling Ford has been defended. Better be worth it, Matilda. Matilda and Henry had swatted King Stephen's siege of the strategic castle at Wallingford. After over a decade of conflict, Matilda's claim to the throne was still alive.
Oh my god, that really took it all out of me. I, don't, I know I'm not that good at the game. When I'm playing multiplayer, like, I normally hotkey barracks. And I'll hotkey, like, archery ranges and stuff like that. Like, I probably should have done that here, because I was constantly looking back at them to try and see if they were doing their thing. I don't know why, I just get, like, tunnel vision sometimes. It's difficult. See, it's different in multiplayer. It's difficult when you're actually recording and trying to think of things to say. Or tr think of talking, just even at all. It takes up that just, like, little bit extra of your mind. And <laughs> when... I'm not good at microwing anyway. If you're then like, oh, now now try micro while talking. It's like, okay. All right, let's check it out. What do we got? The An Angevin Empire? Never heard of them, to be completely honest. Uh, when King Stephen died, Matilda's son Henry ascended the throne of England. He became the first king to rule over what is now known as the Angevin Empire. Oh, I never heard of it. Henry was an active member, or sorry, was it? Henry was an active and ambitious ruler, determined to expand and protect the heart of his empire. He personally traveled to the extents of his lands, making deals, crushing rebellions, and annexing new territory. Henry acted so swiftly and with such audacity that the King of France described him as a seem as seeming rather to fly than go by horse or ship. <laughs> but just as Henry's ancestors had struggled to maintain their power, so the Angevin kings would rule only for two more generations before their empire fractured, once again leading England to war. And that was the intro that we had. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm sure it was painful for some. I'm very sorry. I'm doing the best I can. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.